Build your own rag with Mistral 7B and Langchain. We are at the mercy of when new models are released with expanded training data. But what if we want an assistant that can answer a question about something that happened in 2023? What about asking questions about something that happened this week? Or what if you want the LLM to have more information so that we can improve response accuracy? In these scenarios, fine tuning is an option, but comes with its own risks challenges. Model drift. Over time, as the model is continuously fine tuned with new data, it might start to drift from its original performance and behavior. This could lead to unexpected and undesirable results. Costly and complex. This approach not only presents significant technical challenges, but it also incurs substantial costs. The need to fine tune our model on a weekly basis would require a considerable investment in terms of computational resources and expert manpower, making it a complex and expensive endeavor. So how do we address this? LLMs have taken the world by storm and rightfully so. One approach is retrieval augmented generation RAG. In this video, we'll cover what are RAGs, how do they work, how to leverage Mistral 7B via Hugging Face and Langchain to build your own. Real examples of a small rag in action. For my use case, I'm going to attempt to create a fantasy football NFL assistant that can answer questions on what is currently happening in the season, something existing LLMs can't do. What is a rag? Retrieval augmented generation. Simply put, rags help LLMs by giving them access to external data so that they can generate a response with additional context. This context can be anything from recent news, audio transcripts of a lecture, or in my case, fantasy football news. How do they work? They help you with everyday tasks like building a coding project, creating a recipe, or even writing a medium article. You can think of RAG as an LLM with vector search attached. Here's a high level diagram to illustrate how they work. Here are the four key steps that take place. Load a vector database with encoded documents. Encode the query into a vector using a sentence transformer. Based on the inputted query, retrieve relevant context from the vector database. Leverage context along with the query to prompt the LLM. We'll dive into all of this throughout the rest of the video. Load a quantized Mistral 7B model. We are going to be using Hugging Face to load our quantized Mistral 7B model. While this is great, there are still major limitations that still exist. Let's try out the Mistral 7B by asking it what it knows about fantasy football. While this isn't the most complex query, this level of coherence is still pretty impressive coming from a 7B model. Quick tangent. Here's an interesting function to show exactly how many trainable parameters you have access to using this quantization. Seeing this really drove home how critical quantization is when working with LLMs. By updating just 7% of the model parameters, we're able to completely transform how an LLM behaves, creating a RAG using Langchain. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to create all of the necessary components using Langchain. This will give us what we need to build a quick end-to-end -end POC. You can find more information in their docs. It's also worth mentioning that Langchain isn't the only or best option for building RAGs. In my opinion, there are two key issues. For this exercise, we will be using FICE to create our vector database. FICE, or Facebook AI Similarity Search, is a library developed by Facebook AI that allows for efficient similarity search and clustering of dense vectors. It's a powerful tool that in this context allows us to retrieve context from external sources. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of creating a vector database using Langchain's FICE API. Fortunately for us, Langchain has built-in capabilities to allow us to create and query our in-index. Here's a more detailed diagram showing how each piece interacts. We'll break down each piece and provide code examples. Create vector database. First, we'll walk through how to create the vector database. And just like that, we have a vector database set up. Easy enough. But let's dive into what's actually happening here. They do not have access to real-time information. In our database, we can't dump the entire document as a whole. We need to break it into pieces so that we can search and find which part of the documents are relevant. This becomes much more critical as we process thousands of articles. This Langchain class allows you to define how large of chunks we want to index. In this case, each chunk contains up to 100 tokens with no overlap between them. This step 
handles the encoding and indexing of documents that we just chunked into the FICE index. In our case, we are going to encode this using the Hugging Face Embeddings class, which gives us access to all of the sentence transformer models, full list here. In the example above, I'm using the sentence transformers, all MPNet base v2, but there are many others to choose from. Let's test out our database by asking it a question and seeing if it can retrieve a relevant chunk. That's a good sign. With that context, the LLM will have a much better chance of accurately answering a similar query. Now, to get Langchain and our language model, LLM, to work together, we need something called a retriever. They are prone to hallucinations. Think of it as the go-between that helps the vector database and the LLM communicate smoothly, which means we will take the top four results based on D the similarity between the query and document. You can find other options here. Now that we have all of the necessary pieces, we can start creating our chains. Create LLM chain. First chain we'll build is the LLM chain for the Mistral LLM. Crucially, aside from creating the chain, we update our prompt to allow contexts to be passed in. These are the contexts that our FICE index will gather. So now we have an LLM chain that isn't connected to external data source. Let's ask it a question. It would only know if it read the blog we shared. Create rag chain. Let's integrate our LLMC chain with our face retrieve and put it all together. Let's take a look at some more examples. I'm sure many of you have seen a response like this where it is not able to generate a response due to its training data. This might be my favorite example. This gives me honest and accurate advice given what has transpired over the last few weeks of the season. For someone not keeping up with the minute details, this sort of input would be very useful. Creation. We initiated the process by creating a prompt template. This template requires two inputs, a context and a question. The context provides background information relevant to the question, while the question is what we want our LLM to answer. Next, we created a chain. This chain is a sequence of operations that allows us to invoke a query. Runnable pass-through usage. The query is then passed along using runnable pass-through. This function is a part of Langchain's API and is used to pass the query to the next step in the chain. Retriever invocation. The query is also passed into the retriever, or when they confidently suggest a solution which isn't correct. The retriever queries are FICE index, a database designed for efficient similarity search and clustering of dense vectors, and retrieves the relevant context. Context integration. The retrieved context is then integrated into our prompt. This step is crucial as it provides the necessary background information that aids the LLM in generating a more accurate and context-aware response. LLM. Finally, the enriched prompt is passed into the LLM. In this demonstration, we used a quantized Mistral 7B model, which is a powerful language model capable of generating high-quality text. And then your LLM has access to this ever-growing knowledge base. This immediately makes your LLM that much more